Cheryl Han Woodlock from Handmade Studio. You're not too sure about doing a workshop, you don't understand why people want to spend a whole weekend doing a workshop or even one whole day doing a workshop. I love them. I am a workshop junkie. So stay tuned and I will tell you why I enjoy doing them. Why do you do workshops? It's an opportunity to pick up new skills. If I was a painter, I would be wanting to know, for instance, how to blend colors or how to create shadow with a paintbrush or learn different paintbrush techniques. It's exactly the same with mosaics. There is an opportunity to pick up skills. There are many reasons why you do a workshop. I love weekend retreats or weekend workshops or an intensive one day course. It means I can pick up a technique very, very quickly rather than doing it over a period of several weeks. The other good reason to do a weekend workshop or the one day intensive workshop is that if you are time poor, which means that you don't want to spend one day a week over six weeks, you can do the class and pick up the skills and the techniques in one day or over a weekend. And that's a real bonus for people who have busy lives. In your classes, you will make mistakes, but the beauty of this is that you have your coach, your teacher, your tutor there, and that person can watch you as you are working and pick up those mistakes straight away. So over the weekend, you will have picked up new skills so when you start doing your work at home your new artwork your new designs you will have those skills ready at hand you won't be making so many mistakes and you've done it really really quickly over a period of a weekend rather than a period of six weeks advantages of doing a weekend workshop you are meeting like-minded people I know a lot of people go, oh, I don't like doing workshops. Uh, I prefer working by myself. I am a people person. I love being amongst like-minded people. It gives me an opportunity to exchange ideas, to see what other people are doing. And it doesn't have to be about your artwork. Usually you will find other things in common. I've done a lot of workshops with international artists that have traveled here to Australia. I've also had the wonderful opportunity of lately traveling overseas to meet these artists as well. It's not about just picking up skills and techniques, it's about being with like-minded people and that is exciting for my creative creativity. And it means that I come away with fresh ideas. In this particular work, I traveled to Ravenna to the School of Mosaic Art and I learned how to use the hammer and hardy and use smelty. I could have done this at home, but it means that by doing it with a professional, I actually picked up the skills and after a week, I felt fairly proficient to go home and continue to learn those skills. I wasn't brilliant at it, but I had the basics for building on the blocks. This particular work was a Spilenbergo method. And the Spilenbergo method is not like the traditional method. It's still using smulti, it's still using a hammer and hardy, but it has a different feel to it. It was great coming away learning how to do this technique. Have I used it since? Yes, it's something that I really, really enjoy doing. Would I have learned it at home? I don't know. But the joy of doing this overseas was that where we were, I was with the locals and we got told where to go to get traditional food without all the tourists. That was a real bonus. The real other bonus was that when I went home at night, I could still think about my artwork. It meant that I didn't have to go home and clean and cook. I was basically on holiday. So the whole five days was dedicated to learning about mosaics and this new method. This particular workshop was with another great artist that I admire and Carol Kuhair Kuiwija.
I hope I've said that correctly. And my apologies, Carol, if I haven't said it right, but it's written there. So this workshop was fantastic. Again, it was five days. It was an intense workshop. But in that workshop, we got the opportunity to work with watercolors. So Carol took us from the basics right to the finished product. And we also learned how to flip it. So this was an indirect method, something that I hadn't done before. So the skills that I learned were vast. And that's why I keep saying workshops are brilliant. <laughs> I had it upside down. Sorry, Kelly. This artist is Kelly Knickerbocker. She does great Andamento workshops. They are really very funky. So she goes uh, Fundamento and there are a whole heap of other words that she has developed for her workshops. They're fun, they're informative. She also talks about other artists. She talks about how she got into mosaics and what her ideas about mosaics are. It was a fun workshop. I learned a lot from her. Do I use everything that she uses? No, but it gives me a little bit more knowledge when I'm looking for something to use in my own designs, I can start using and employing and thinking about what I learned in her class and her philosophies and thinking about what do I want to do for my work. Why did I do the workshop? It's another kickstart, it's another idea, it's another tool from my arsenal when I am doing my own artwork. So doing a workshop with an artist that you admire is really beneficial. For me, I will do a workshop any day if I can afford it. Wherever it is, I hope that I can be that. So how do you find workshops? That can be rather tricky. I used Facebook when I first started looking for uh, workshops, but there is an easier way. MANS. MANS is the Mosaic Association of Australia and New Zealand. They do a symposium every second year. In that symposium, they actually have local artists and international artists teaching. If you go to the website at MANS, you can have a look at the previous symposiums and see what artists there were and what they were teaching. Once you've found the artist and perhaps the skill or the style that you like, you can then contact the artist themselves. They would love to hear from you. We have been in isolation here in Australia with COVID, but now that we're coming out, there are workshops available with lots of different skill bases. It is just finding the right person to fit you and thinking about where do you have to go to learn that skill. We've discussed why you do workshops. There are so many reasons. It's not one thing or the other. It really is a personal journey about what you want to learn. As I said, I am a mosaic junkie. I am a workshop junkie. I love learning. I have been doing this for 35 years and I hope that I will continue to learn for another 15, 20, 30 years if I am lucky enough. Enjoy your creative journey. I hope that you find a workshop that suits you and I will see you soon. Perhaps maybe even in one of my workshops. Bye for now.